Everyone knows that social media and marketing is a white hot topic these days. This powerful new way of connecting to customers and prospects is the future of marketing. But many companies struggle with how to use social media for business. Kelly McDonald can help. Kelly is a marketing and advertising expert. Her company, McDonald Marketing, has twice been named one of the top ad agencies in the country by Advertising Age. She's been featured in Business Week, on CNNMoney.com, and on Sirius XM Radio. And she's the author of How to Market to People Not Like You, Know It or Blow It Rules for Reaching Diverse Customers. Kelly's session, Social Media and Marketing, How to Use It to Build Business in a Low-Cost, No-Cost Manner, is one of her most popular presentations. She shows small business owners and marketing managers exactly what to do and not do to develop an effective social media strategy. Audiences learn how the major social networking sites work for business, best practices, key etiquette, how to handle negative comments and more. And she tailors each presentation to the audience's specific industry. Here's a sample of this popular session. And I think that's probably the number one question I get, which is like, hey, I totally get how to share my vacation pictures with Cindy, but what I'm struggling with is how do I use this to really drive business? So what we're going to talk about today is social media and marketing, which I really think is like your new best friend because it is low cost or no cost. It is a very effective tool right now in our economy when, but when there's a lot of marketing pressure and budget pressure on marketing budgets and everybody's trying to figure out how to do more with less. I want to talk about the basics of social media first, though, because, again, we have a group here in this room with a wide variety of knowledge. And so I want to set the table by making sure that everybody at least understands the fundamentals of everything that I'm going to talk about. The number one thing that you need to know about social media is that it's about people, not logos. It's not about selling anything. Ultimately, you will sell things and you will use it to make business sales, but it's not about pitching you. Okay, in fact, if it was, people would avoid it, right? Because we're all getting pitched to death. Everywhere we go, we're getting a sales pitch of some kind. So, why it's important. The ability to monitor your own social reputation, okay? Every single business has a social reputation. You just might not know what it is. People are talking about you. They talk about you all the time, good or bad. You just may not be able to have any way of knowing what they're saying or tracking it. The ability to respond to customer questions, the ability to test new ideas and test them in, a, in an extremely low cost or no cost way. It's certainly more personal than a press release if you have news to share with the people who would actually care about that news. And it's 17% more likely to increase customer satisfaction. So look at this one though, this was really great, I love this. So here's all these different posts, don't forget Avatar tonight, but look at this, don't forget to come join us at the store to watch Avatar on a Blu-ray 52 inch television. We already have the popcorn and pop waiting, it's gonna be fun. And then what's really cool is, after the fact, they posted pictures of the party. So how is that different than going to a, a backyard barbecue and, what's your badge there, I gotta see, what's your name? Dennis. Dennis, and I say to Dennis, what's new Dennis? And you say, well I just got back from Cancun. And I'm like, really, how was it? And you're like, great, great, I've got pictures. And you start showing me on your phone. That's what people do. So this is a, a great example because they had a special avatar showing and then they showed people enjoying and just coming and watching. Another example of how you can use social media and marketing is to test new ideas at a low cost, no cost way. Everybody know this brand, right? Tropicana, whether you drink it or not, you've seen it. In my opinion as a marketing person, this is one of the finest package designs I've ever seen in my life. You don't even need to have any words on this package, right? You could just have this image of an orange with a straw stuck in it and I know what's in there, right? 100% pure orange juice. I mean, the image says it all, right? 100% pure orange juice. They changed their package to this. It took me two months to realize that this was a glass. I thought it was just a big color of orange. And then one day I realized, oh, there's a bottom. It's a glass of orange juice. I mean, it's to me a very, but nevertheless, does, despite the fact that they have an absolutely huge 100% pure and natural orange juice in words, it doesn't say it like that says it to me, right? So they tried, and guess what? They changed their packaging. Consumers absolutely hated it. More importantly, sales dropped 20% just from something like a package design. And all they would have had to have done is put those two images side by side on their Facebook page and say, hey, fans, we're thinking about changing our package from this to this. What do you think? Do you think they would have heard from people, honestly, <laughs> what they thought? Saved them a lot of time and saved them a lot of money, but they didn't. So that's another way that you can use it. 
Don't dismiss or ignore negative comments about your business or your own site. You can monitor yourself for free with third-party sites such as Google Alerts. If you do not know about Google Alerts, seriously, before you even leave this room, you need to sign up for this. It's free, it will take you two seconds to do this. There's three different ways to get Google Alerts. Google Blog Alerts, Google Web Alerts, and Google News Alerts. So here is what happens. When you go to Google Alerts and you sign up, you can Google Alert anything you're interested in. Let's say you're interested in the Dallas Cowboys and you want to follow every single thing that's on the web about the Dallas Cowboys. Don't do that, you'll be inundated. But <laughs> anything you want. So what you do is, I wanted to Google Alert two things. The words Kelly McDonald and the words McDonald Marketing. So Kelly McDonald is, quote, Kelly McDonald, unquote, right? I'm not interested in every time the word Kelly comes up on the internet or the word McDonald. I'm only interested in the words Kelly McDonald as a phrase. Now, so this is a Google alert. You can see it's sent to my email. And you can, send, you can sign up for these as they happen, once a week, etc. So I get them as they happen. What to do if you're flamed? Flaming is when an unhappy customer writes negatively, harshly, and prolifically about you on the web. And believe me, if somebody is ticked off, they want to tell as many people as possible and they will put it out there on Facebook posts, on tweets or blogs and it will spread like wildfire, right? Because we all love bad news, bad juicy news. So what do you do? Somebody posts something on your Facebook page, again, resist the urge to delete it. It would be literally as rude as going up to somebody at that backyard barbecue and saying, I have no interest in what you're saying. I'm not interested in diversity of thought. I'm not interested in your opinion, only if it's praising me, right? You wouldn't do that. So resist that. Cool down before responding, because you know what? The, the web is anonymous, and it's really easy to go, well, nah, 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 and hit send, you know? And you don't want to do that. Respond as if the person were standing right in front of you in the lobby of your store. And if you had a really, really irate customer completely going off on you in the middle of your store, your response would not be to go off on them. You would diffuse the situation, right? You would listen to them. And just that's what you've got to do is just pretend that you're in the lobby of your store and just handle it the same way. So, final thoughts? It really is imperative. Make friends with this. It's not that scary once you start doing it. Facebook, at a minimum, you can start tweeting on Twitter if you'd like. And it's all about content on Twitter, even more so than Facebook. It should not really be selling or promotional because otherwise nobody's going to follow you. Content doesn't also have to be original or self-authored as long as you credit the source. Some people are like, I don't know what to tweet. I don't know what to tweet. I have no, no idea what to tweet. Well, what about an interesting article that you read on CNN.com that day that you thought maybe would be helpful to your, to your uh, customers? What if you saw an article on uh, Consumer Reports, you know, evaluating the very best in you know, flat screens or something? Why not say, hey, you know, fans and followers, here's a really great article from Consumer Reports on what the best, you know, we, we were impressed with this article. You don't have to author all this stuff. It's not like you've got to be blogging. Meaningful marketing has growing relevancy as our desire for connection grows. Again, as I mentioned in the beginning, we are moving from mass to personal, and we're moving from the homogenous to the defined. And social media is the way that can get you there. So thank you very much. And I think we've got some time for some questions, if you have some questions. Yes. Uh, wait, I think he was first, right? OK, go. Cool.